So, we just entered the restricted area here at the bottom of the Iron Hill Ladders. This is a troublesome grate here. It's a box culvert grate and uh, catches way too many leaves. Makes a real problem here in the fall. For the wardens and the DPW crew who occasionally clean it. And we're walking up a drive, drive stream bed right now. We're gonna take a little picture of the canopy here. They mentioned something about taking out invasive trees here for the new park. However, this camera, this canopy is crucial here. And this restricted area is crucial. This is a very shallow stream here. We don't want people in here walking around, disturbing the fish, taking the fish. Uh, it's a little bit of a challenge at night, but thanks to the night heaven, we know who's here and who isn't here. <clears throat> they give it away. All right, you get the idea. You get the idea of what's happening here. It's drought. It's a drought situation. And we continue forward. A little bit of groundwater here popping up, but certainly no flows coming out of Whitman's Pond yet. We're hoping by the end of next week we can release some water, try to move some fish that are waiting to come down. I saw no sign that they're there at the entrance to the ladder, so that tells me they're not quite ready to move anyhow. I usually take a, a brief hiatus from the second week in August until the first week in October. But I've seen fish in September. Nothing's written in stone. Okay, this is the bypass uh, to the fish ladder. Iron Hill. Had a little graffiti here last spring and the wardens took it upon themselves as always to paint the walls here. It was a damp day when we painted so this little piece of graffiti is sort of shining through. Well it needs another coat and we'll, we'll get to that too. You got the paint. It's donated. It's donated. I can't tell you who donated it. I'd have to kill you. But anyhow, it's free. It's free to us. And it goes to a good cause, too. This place certainly should be kept well. As you can see, we've got knotweed and different kinds of vegetation growing up here. We have stone walls that are in decline. <laughs> I can't believe it, but one of the first things I did in 1998, after I was sworn in as a heaven warden, was to approach Bob O'Connor and tell him how much work he had here to cut these trees that were causing the wall to crumble. I'm surprised the inspectors to the dam when they came out here a few years ago when we replaced the sluice gates here didn't have a comment on this side section. It's part of the flood control system. And if we were to get a very, very large storm, like I witnessed in 
high school somewhere between 65 and 66 <clears throat> we had so much it was before the flood control system we had so much water coming through here that this side chute and all its debris the loose stuff we pick up before we run this waterfall by the way but we don't we don't clean the walls and we don't do any tree cuttings here that's not for us it's too dangerous to cut in here <clears throat> if it's in the stream bed itself we take care of it but anything standing that needs to come down that's a job for someone else anyhow We've reached the base of the waterfall on Iron Hill Dam. And as you can see, the trickle that was here isn't even here this week. I mean, we got some wet stones and that's about it. And there's the new sluice gate. A wonderful thing for the wardens. A wonderful thing. This allows us to regulate water in Heronbrook like no other herring run probably on the east coast. We can maintain steady flows of 8 cubic feet per second in storms and in times of low water too usually 8 cubic feet per second. That's what you need to run this herring run when you have adults coming in and making their climb up the ladder. We usually run four cubic feet in the ladders. Another four cubic feet here in this side stream gives the stream itself eight cubic feet. The math is easy. And that's how we do it. That's how we do it here in the town of Weymouth.